Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll make this simple 2D practice drawing using the 2D drafting workspace of BricsCAD. So, let's get started. So here I'll start in the drafting workspace and I will basically start with the unit related settings. So that's the first thing which we are going to do and to do that click this gear icon right here on the settings bar here just select that and go to the drawing tree and expand drafting. Now here we have drawing unit expand this one and in the insertion unit well select millimeter will be using millimeter for this drawing. Now there are also several other settings that you can change here but in this case I'll only keep changes up to this unit insertion unit. You can just collapse it or if you want even more like if you want to change unit related settings for angle you have it here. So you can change the angle type and here you can change the unit format. So right now it's architectural and since we have already changed that to millimeter it will be better if we change this architectural format to decimal as well so that our drawing unit looks kind of like this. So that will be the second change which I'll do and then I'll maybe change this to two decimal places as well. We don't want accuracy of four decimal places so that's sufficient for now. Okay with these changes I'll now close the settings option and we are ready to start our drawing. So I'll start with a rectangle tool and for that I'll go to draw panel and right here in the expanded flyout I have rectangle. Now click at any point and to make the rectangle I'll type at and I'll make it with a length of 10 and width of 10. So essentially we are making a square here so 10 comma 10 enter and here we have this square. Alright, that's the first thing. Now the next thing is circle on all these four vertices. So for that I'll go to circle fly out and I'll select tangent tangent radius. Now I'll click on this line, this line and the radius of the circle is 1 and enter. There we are. Now let's make an array. So I'll go to polar array. Here we have it. I'll select the circle and enter. Now. I'll just select the geometric center items and let's make it 4 and now it's perfectly where it should be okay with that press enter and we now have these four circles okay so once again we need to add circle right here using tangent tangent radius or so something like this and then we'll make array again for that so let's go to this tangent tangent radius circle and this time I'll click close to this point so you can also click here but don't click it here just make sure that you're clicking above this quadrant so I'll just click somewhere here again somewhere here and then the radius of the circle is 4 units so I'll type 4 and enter so here we are now before we actually make another array let's trim this circle so I'll go to the trim tool which is right here and press enter key now I'll click on this one this part of the circle and I'll expand this drawing well I'll just zoom into this area and I'll click this part of the circle let's pan it and zoom this part and trim it here okay so here we are that's all we need now with this arc segment we'll make another array so modify panel polar array and select this object and enter once again the same center so I'll just hover my cursor here on the boundary and then geometric center will highlight so click and we have six objects we don't want it we just want four so go to items change that to four and there we are so we now finally have four objects here press enter to exit this command now before we actually remove all the geometries that we actually don't need let's add the circles at the center of well these circles as well so I'll just go to circle tool and now using this center I'll just add a circle of radius 0.5 so I'll just type 0.5 and enter and you can just copy paste this on all these four or you can just make another polar array in this case I'll use copy paste so copy select the circle and enter the center just pick it and drop it on all the four centers there we are 
now finally let's add the circle at the center of this geometry so I'll go to circle again using geometric center I'll add another circle right here and in this case the radius is 1.6 unit and press enter so there we are now let's add that hex bolt here so we've got four hex bolts that we need to add so for that I'll first go to the line tool and I'll make a line using this center and it is exactly at an angle of 45 degrees so I'll just type angle sign as you can see here on the command line 45 and enter Now that will kind of lock your line on this 45 degree angle and now you only need to add the distance so the distance in this case is 2.6 unit and press enter and enter again so there we are so we have got the line now using this endpoint let's make the hex bolt so for the hex bolt I'll go to this tool right here on the fly out and I'll select polygon with center vertex option okay so we want to make hex bolt and for that we need six sided polygon so in this case we have number of sides as prompt so let's type six and enter now here I'll just click on this point for the center and now we just need to specify the second point so you can just eyeball it and click anywhere in the drawing area or you can just specify a radius in this case I'll use the radius of 0 0.6 unit and I'll press enter so there we are we have got the hex bolt of radius 0 0.6 and this is actually an inscribed circle so polygon is made inside that inscribed reference circle now we can clean it up and before we do that let's just make another array of this hex bolt so I'll just delete this and again polar array select the hex bolt and enter center and number of items and it's four and enter again all right so with that we have finished the drawing we just need to clean it up so the first thing that we can delete here is this reference square let's select and delete it the second thing is well these parts of the drawing so we just need to trim it so I'll go to trim and enter and I'll trim this 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 and this part of the drawing and here we are we just need to add one final circle here so to do that you can just offset the circle or add another one in this case I'll just go to circle and add one more circle here so center and the radius here is 1.2 unit and press enter and that's the final circle and that's how you can make this 2d geometry using a lot of polar arrays now if you have a question let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share this video i'll see you soon in another one